Hi everyone. So I'm doing a live because my phone is running out of space. So it's easier to do a live and then I can share it anywhere else. Um, when I have to do it on my phone pre-recorded and I saved it, it's kind of, it takes up a lot of space on my phone. So, okay, I'm trying to get the camera right here so that my phone doesn't fall off the easel. Okay, so I'm going to just do something, play around. Um, I did my makeup, my face makeup. I left my eyes, so I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to use shadow palette number three, which has all the the pinks and the purples and um, usually the palettes come um, half sh you know shimmery and half matte so that's you know pretty cool that you get to switch it up and I might even throw in a little bit of splurge cream shadow in the color hopeful that is the um, pretty pink spongy so we'll see I'm gonna try and do um, a little bit more of a, a dramatic look for you so I guess I'll start with I'm gonna start with the um, the splurge cream and it is spongy so what happens is if you haven't used it in a while you may want to just wet the brush a little bit and kinda just swirl in there to get it you know soft again because sometimes it just does that. It doesn't ruin it or anything. It just, you know. And I kind of want to give it a nice brighter look. So, and my eyes are primed. I put primer, eye primer on. Um, and a little bit of um, powder because I wanted to set everything. Because I have oily skin, so... This is going to be fun to watch, to try and do through um, through the phone and not a mirror. So it's going to be a lot of um, spreading around. Didn't want it to go that that high, so I'm going to bring it down. And the um, splurge creams are buildable. So if you do a light coat and then you go on again, it will um, start to give you more color, more pop. See? It's kind of cool how that works. But I want the corner to have more. And then I'm going to use um, some other colors to mix in with it, and it's going to all blend together. So I'm going to do this side now. I've just been playing around with different stuff. That's why I don't always do videos, because sometimes I have to play with it first to see how it's going to come out. To know if it's something that I can even bother to show you guys. So, and I'm, I learn too, so as I go, you know. I don't mind doing the research and looking up stuff and to see how other people do things and there are a million different companies out there that sell beauty and, and cosmetics and you know so everybody you know has their own um, their own opinion of what's good and what's not and that's fine I've used everything from over the counter to more expensive and this is the only one that I found um, company unique that um, I like their stuff and that works really well and priced fairly decent because 
If you go with the high end, you're spending tons of money. And if you go with the low end, you're getting low end product. And the nice thing about these is that it's not tested on animals. It's all mineral, minerals and natural. And so, okay, I'm going to cap this for now. Um, I may need it again later. I don't know. We'll see. But um, for now, that's the way I'm leaving that. And the splurge cream shadows, they are so cool. They're starting to come out with some matte colors. Like um, I have a happy, which is called happy, and it's like a matte bluish gray. Um, they're really pretty, and they're only $26, and they will last you a really long time because you don't need a super lot. I mean, you really do not need to put a lot on that brush. Next, I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the, um, I think I'm going to use this brush, the angled sponge brush, and I'm going to use the sponge side, and I'm going to, that's, I'm going to use it to apply some different colors, and I am going to use this palette to do that. I think I'm going to go with this color, um, which is tickled. And I might throw in a couple of these here. Um, determined, smitten, and maybe a little bit of flippant. Flippant is like a, a shimmery purple. I don't know. We'll we'll see how that goes. Um, this is the way I do it. I'm gonna wet this brush, the sponge part. It's going to help it um, stay the pigment stay on to the. Sponge. The sponge brush and you don't want it soaking wet you just want to wet it and then dab it a little bit on a towel or a paper towel or something because um, they do dry very fast so that is the color tickled and I'm gonna do it in the corner It gives just a little bit of a different look. And I'm going to go up with it too, so. Because I want this to kind of be my crease color. And I am going to throw in a little bit of irate, which is black. Because, like I said, I do want this to be more dramatic. So what I'm going to do is see that, I'm going to put it right on the tip so you can kind of get into the crease line. And I have learned to maneuver my lids a little bit um, to, to go a little bit above the actual crease line because of the hooded lid. So you want to just kind of go a little bit above it if you have a hooded lid to get that color in there. Just a little bit and I don't want to go all the way up to the top here because I want to use a highlighter there so put a little bit over here <sighs> I could hear my dog downstairs I don't know what he is doing God only knows he comes to the stairs to call me because he can't come up the stairs anymore. He's too old for that. So he'll come to the stairs and he'll whine and he, and he calls me like, come on, let's go. I got to go. He's older now, so he can't really um, hold it as long. So it's funny because I have to do a lot of scheduling with things in between him. So... He's doing something. I don't know what he's doing down there. Probably looking to get yelled at. Okay. So. Just cleaning the brush off a little bit. The sponge. It's good to clean. Um, to get some of the, the color off. Before you know you let it dry. Or you know after you use it. So that you don't. Um. keep it dirty like that if you're going to use it again. Okay, now I'm going to use my um, crease shadow brush and I'm going to do a little bit of the irate, which is black. 
and I just kind of dab a little bit. And look at how I'm going to do this now. So it is literally just a little bit and I'm dabbing it because you don't want to go too, um, too, well I don't want to go too bright, you can, you can go bright with it. And I'm just cleaning the brush off because I'm going to use this brush to blend. And there you go. That's how you're going to get that, um, that pretty color, it's like a three three different colors. Well, it'll actually be four by the time I get done. Maybe. And if you want to bring the black in, you can do that. You can absolutely do that. You can make a more defined black line if you want. And if you're going to do that, I would use the um, liner shader brush and use this side and just kind of do like a you know, like a black line, and then just blend. So, I didn't do it, but it, that's how you would do it. Now, I think I want a little bit more in the corner here. Because I actually want it to have the two different colors here. So, this one's going to be the hopeful. And I'm not pulling very hard when I do this. I'm just kind of holding it so that I can get where I want to get with it. And I'm lightly blending here because I, I have a tendency to overblend sometimes. And when you overblend, you're just taking more of the color off. So you just have to, you know, add more color at that point. And that's it. That's what I'm going to leave that like that. And let me do this side. And I usually go about to the middle. I don't go all the way in because that I'll do when I blend. Just to give it a little bit. See? And yes, it does seem like every time one side always comes out different than the other for me. But that's okay. Because then I just go back and add more. To whichever side came out different. You can also, if you have time for this, because sometimes this could be time consuming, you can um, wait in between doing colors because kind of let it set a little bit before you start blending and all that stuff, you know. That's up to, to you how you do that. look and if I have to do any fixing you know at off screen I'll do that but you guys will see it in the picture because the, the screen looks different to me than a mirror does so hopefully you guys can see let me see if that makes it too bright so okay so I'm cleaning that brush and I'm going to take my liner shader brush because I am going to use black um, for my liner. First, I want to um, add a little bit of highlighter up here. And I'm going to do that with the color. Um, I'm going to mix Smitten and Determined, I think, these two. So we'll see. First, let me try Smitten. That's the shimmery one. 
I may not mix determined because that might be too much. Look at how cool that is. How cool did that come out, right? And I usually just take the the side of the liner, sh the shot, this side of the liner shader brush, and you just blend it just a little bit. Not too much because you want the highlight to still be there. And a lot of people have like arched brows and when you do that then you would take the highlighter from here over. Um, most people don't go in with it. But really you could do anything you want. I just wanted to get it so that you could see it. Then what I would do is take that same smitten and just kind of put it in the corners because this opens up your eyes a little bit. See how that that does that. Now, that's it for Shadow Palette 3. I am done with that one. Those are beautiful colors. These palettes are $49. They will last you forever. And they have so many colors in each palette that you can do so many different looks with it. So, actually I'm not done with that because I need the black. What am I talking about? Look at how cray cray that is. All right, I'm just going to go back again with the um, the hopeful in the splurge cream. I just want to make it a little bit more brighter um, in the on the lid with the pink right here. And it's very spreadable, this stuff. Very um, creamy. But it dries to a powder. And um, it is crease-proof. Then I just go back again with the... Um, crease brush to just blend that out right up here wherever I went too high with it because really you just want I just wanted it on the lid right there and it gives it that shine and look at how it blends with this side so I'm just giving you different options here to you know to see how I do things how it can be done. I'm not a professional. I play. There's no police that tells me, oh, you can't do that. I'm sure a professional makeup artist would look at it and be like, oh god, that's so amateur. But, you know, it is what it is. If you feel good and you enjoy playing with it, then that's all that really matters. How cool is that look? See how? That's that's my biker look right here. We're going to try and go out tonight on the bike. Um, hopefully the weather won't start raining yet. And um, until like later in the week with this hurricane that's going on, I have no clue. We were in the state of emergency. Hopefully that just bypasses us. So I'm going to take my liner shader brush again. These brushes are awesome. You really should look into these. If you buy them separate, they're really not that badly priced. If you buy them together, we have a whole set a package. You get a free bag with it. It's really cool. Okay, so I'm wetting this brush. I'm wetting the end, not soaking it, because I patted it off. I'm going to take my black liner. I'm gonna, my, the black, not even black eyeliner, it's black eyeshadow. And I really should play with other stuff so you can see. But to do this look, I want to do it this way, so... And look at how nice and black that comes out. It's 
Okay, I went a little high, but that's okay. It could be fixed. Everything could be fixed. It's only because I can't see. In the um, in this. That's okay, because I wanted to make a little bit more of a dramatic look for you to see. Look at how cool that is. I'm going to do the bottom, too, so. Because I'm one of those cray crays that can't go without having my bottoms done. so simple using the brush and the shadow. Oh my god. I love it. So, so simple. Just wet my brush again because I told you they dry fast. Pat it out. Kind of concentrate on the line so I don't talk too too much. I don't get a lot of viewers that watch me live, so I'm hoping that you guys will all catch the replay. Look at how awesome that looks. Sometimes I amaze myself. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. To me, though, this is like my dramatic, serious, you know, edgy um, biker look. <laughs> And I think if you want to do a wing liner, you could probably come up with that. It is so hard for me to do this. I'm afraid to play too much with the wing because see, I feel like my eyes downturn. They don't go up. And I have to find a way to get the wing to go up and I probably have to do that triangle and I'm just always afraid that I'm going to do it and it's going to come out bad and then i got to do my makeup all over again and take it off. So, but I will play with that one day and I will show you guys. Anyway, that's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back and take this side of the brush and I'm going to take that tickled color again, that pink. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to smudge it out here. Just to give me a little bit of pink and black under here and look at how cool that looks. And just think I don't even have my mascara on yet or my eyebrows done. I'll do that with you guys watching. Well, you know. I'll do it live for you. So you can see. And, you know, just mind you, like, I, I wear contacts, so I can do all this stuff with contacts. And that's that. Wait till you see when the eyebrows get done and everything else gets added on. And you'll be like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. See, when I talk to myself here, because nobody's watching right now, you know, I get a little cray-cray. So you guys will laugh later on. Um... And that's like that ring. That's cool, right? It's like a leaf. I don't know. I like it. Okay. So, just gonna comb that out. 
My hair is a little crazy today, though. Um, I don't know what to do with it, because, you know, when you ride a bike, you have a helmet on, it ruins the hair anyway, so I usually just tie it back. I hate that we can't have music because I feel like I'm just boogieing a little bit. Um, Facebook kicks you off if you put music on because it's copyrighted and you don't own it and it's just ridiculous. It's like, no, I don't own it, but I bought the song. It's not like I stole the song. So... It is what it is, I guess, right? I have that song, Cheap Thrills, in my hand by Saya. I love that song. So I'm just filling in some spots that I want filled in. Like I said, I'm going a little bit more dramatic on this. You guys are going to pass through seeing the video and be like, what the heck is this nut job doing? I don't know, I'm in a nutty mood today, I guess. Supposed to go to the beach this weekend for bike fest, and with this hurricane, it's really putting a damper on our plans. So, we might end up going to the mountains instead. Either way, as long as I'm out, I'm gonna go with a hubby and some friends. Gonna, they're gonna take their the bikes. I was gonna drive and follow because I don't think that I could be on the back of the bike that long without like, you know, my back will be hurting and, you know, I just can't do it. I want to, but until he gets the better seats. That's the way it's gonna have to be. Okay, now I'm gonna do my mascara and then I will be all done, 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 done. So I went with a darker look on top, and you don't really want too dark. I mean, you can. You can put dark on, on the lips, too. But I didn't want to go dark on my lips today. I just wanted to. The general rule, I guess you could say, is um, dark on top, light on bottom kind of thing. And if you do light on top, dark lip, don't have to go by that rule. That's really just personal preference. But I actually like it this way. I like the softer lip. And I so cannot wait for my stuff to come in the mail. My splash liquid lipstick. Um, I really hope that you guys do catch the replay on this and um, I hope you'll all help me out with this I really do want to get um, about eight or so orders of the, the kudos um, my team has issued a challenge to get you know eight or more orders and it really is a good deal you're getting a free lip scrub the lipstick is absolutely fun and great in the blue color. Did you see that? Oh my god, I can't wait to try it. Um, you know, and every purchase helps me advance. And I don't like to be pushy, and I don't like to ask people all these things, and it's like I feel like I'm constantly doing that with you guys. 
So if you can find it in your heart to order the customer kudos this month from me, I would greatly appreciate it. Even if you don't like it or if you don't use it, it is they would make really great gifts for anybody. And honestly, you could keep the lip scrub for yourself if you want it and just give the, the lipsticks away. You could do that too. Yeah, I'm going a little bit more dramatic here with the, with the eyes. Yep, my dog is looking for me. So, I'm going to let that sit a minute. I'd call down to him, but sometimes I don't know if he's deaf. Sometimes he's selective. I don't know about him. He's whining down there. I don't know if you could hear him. I tried to time it just right. My brother lives here with us, and he just ran out. I heard him on his bike, on his bike. So my dog is probably like, oh, no, no, no. Did they? Did she leave me too? Yeah, it's all about my dog in this house. He's the king. And we are his minions. All right, people. Since he's going to continue and then get into mischief, I have to get going. But this is the look. I'll take some pictures. You can see the final um, look there. I'll try and list everything that I used for the eyes. And um, again, hopefully if you can buy the kudos, um, the, the splash lipstick, three of them, plus the free lip scrub, um, I would really appreciate that. And if you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll be happy to answer. If you need color matches, help with anything, you know, just, just anything, just let me know. And I will be back and see you all soon. Thanks.